Hi guys, this is Omer from MMOHut.com and I'm the first impressions gameplay video for Mabinogi, a 3D anime inspired fancy MMORPG published by Nexon. Now I'll spend about 10 to 15 minutes running around checking this game out, make some comments. If you guys want to play Mabinogi or just learn more about it, do check out the full review on the link below. So let's go ahead and get started and we are already on the character creation screen. So let's, uh, we can scroll through these options, but first we should select the server. Let's go back again. And we're going to select Alexina, which is actually the most populated server right now. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Now this game was developed by Nexon. They're the same guys behind Maple Story, Combat Arms, Vindictus, as well as a few other MMORPGs. So let's go ahead and go to next over here. We can choose our character name. We'll be Remote with two A's, of course. And it is available. We can choose our three races right now, our Human, Elf, and Giant. So you have selected the Giant race, blah, blah, blah. Creating a Human first. So let's not do that. Let's go with Human first. Let's go back to Human. And our gender will be male. And you can choose your starting age as well. Now, age actually plays a pretty big role in Maple Story, and it tells you your, what it is over here, but I'll explain a bit more of that later on. Though I am going to start at age 10 because I am awesome. Beginners are recommended to create a character with his age at 17. Difficulties, difficulties can arise as a younger character due to lower stats. So, you know what? Let's take the game's advice right now, and we will start at age 17. And you can even be a little little lolly if you want to. There you go. But we are going to make a level 7, not level 17, age 17 character for now. And we are going to click next. So we can do the design our character as well and do some character customization stuff, which is always fun. But there's actually a lot of customization stuff in the game. I'm not going to spend too much time over here, but there's a lot of stuff you can play with actually. I think Nexon has done a pretty good job with the customization in Mabinogi, much stronger than other, you know, MMORPGs. But for now, let's click next. A lot of hairstyles as well. That is an awesome hairstyle. You know what? I'm going to run with it because it is awesome. <laughs> it looks kind of silly, but you know what? I like it. We can do this too, but you know what? I'm going to stick with the awesome hair. Make it black, and let's click next over here. Create. No, we can keep going through eye styles too. I'm going to go with this one, and let's click create. So here's our there's the premium card to reset this stuff. We're going to click, uh, I'm going to click OK over here for now, and click OK. So here we are, and let's go ahead and log in. The interface looks kind of different in this game too, but I'll explain more of that when we actually jump into the game. My character looks kind of depressed, I don't know why, but let's go click start over here. Now this game launched in North America around 2008, but it's not exactly a new MMORPG. It's been in Korea since 2004, making the game over 6 years old today. I'm liking this one over here. <laughs> I love how our boobs just jiggled a lot, like much more than natural. <laughs> but I'm liking this scene so far. And she's like, she, she'll explain some of the basics of the game right now. Let's go talk to Nao. Her name is Nao, N-A-O. Pretty cool name. So a beautiful girl in a black dress with intricate patterns. Her deep azure eyes remind everyone of an endless blue sea of mystique. So the game's translations and English text is actually much better than most other Korean or Chinese MMORPGs. I think Nexon has done a phenomenal job translating the game. So I'm liking her already. And you can actually move the camera too, which is kind of cool. Most games don't let you do that. Can we move around while talking to her? Nope. And click continue. You actually do want to read some of the stuff in the game because Mabinogi is a game that has is pretty story driven. So even when you go to conversations, you have a lot of stuff to say to her. So about Mabinogi, what to do about adventures. You know what? I don't even want to talk to you. There's no option that seems too important over here. We can go click end for now. So <clears throat> most of Eren's residents live in a continent called Ulda. The existence of another continent, Eren, was only recently discovered. Blah blah blah. But I want to get right into the game for now and keep clicking through the dialogue over here. But again, I want to emphasize the actual dialogue in Mabinogi is actually really well done. And you, there's a lot of text too in the game if you talk to NPCs, but it shows you the game is pretty well developed. Even for an older game, they did a really nice job refining some of the finer points. I mean, visually the game still doesn't look that... Let's go click over here. Visually the game isn't anything special. Let's click yes over here again. Though the art style is unique as well. You have the anime inspired graphics, but a lot, almost everything in the game is, has been hand drawn. So it kind of shows too with, with the art style of the game. But click continue for now, and she is still talking to me. So I gotta talk to Chief Duncan. He's in this east of the square. So we'll click continue over there. And I'll basically give you some starting quests and things to do early on. The game is called Mabinogi Fantasy Life. And it's a bit more open-ended than other games as well. Now I'm not going to say it's completely open-ended. But you saw in the character creation screen, I didn't actually pick a class. So the game has a classless system. It's a skill system actually. And they do it really well. So we got an awesome uh, awesome intro movie over here. Hold my hand. And it's developed by Devcat. They're the same guys behind Mabinogi Heroes. Also called Vindictus. But I am not going to watch this for now though, this song is pretty cool. The in-game music in Mabinogi, Mabinogi is pretty impressive as well. And I know I'm gushing about the game right now, but it's a, it's a pretty well-respected game. Though it's a game not everyone's going to like. I mean, I, can, I like the games 
the game is uh, unique music, it's depth, and there's a lot of content in the game too, which I'll talk about later. But hopefully I can get started soon. But it's a game that I feel a lot of, uh, a lot of newer people, new age gamers, or compared to a lot of newer games, visually the game isn't that impressive, and that, that is a big deal to a lot of people. I mean, a lot of people say, you know, graphics don't matter, it's all about gameplay, but we say that sometimes, but we, you know, still, it's hard to get us to play games with, you know, lower tier graphics. But it's a game that will run pretty smoothly on older PCs as well. So we can, we can almost get started over here. Like my character's awesome walk over here. I'm not sure why this person's a guard. It's like a small person over there, a tin. I like his helmet, a little dragon on it. Continue, continue, continue. Can I skip this? Oh, yeah, there we can quit the movie scene. Though you, you don't want to quit these on your own though, because these movie scenes actually give you more direction in the game. And now is letter of introduction. So we get 100 XP for doing that. Close that. <laughs> I'm liking this over here. Book is the guide how to do blah, blah, blah. Close it out. Close the shenanigans out. I can handle myself. Ari, hello, master. I am a helpful guide to Mabinogi, and it's my job to lead novice adventurers. Blah, blah, blah. I'm liking my little fairy over here. And click continue over here as well until you stop talking to me. But the, the fact that the game does a lot of stuff to kind of introduce you to the game actually makes a lot of sense. Because Mabinogi is a lot different than Maple Story. It's not a game that you can just pick up and just start moving around and knowing exactly what to do. So is there anything you want to find out? <laughs> and conversation. I can figure this out on my own for now. And is, Mabinogi is also a game that I haven't played that much. My brother has actually played it a bit more than I have. But I, I should be able to figure most of this out. I've seen him play it before too, but it is a it is a much more in-depth game than a lot of other titles. And the, the tutorials in the game and all the introduction stuff is appropriate. So let's kill some young raccoons first of all. So we can start combat by double clicking on them. But the way combat works, I'm getting combat mastery right now, plus 10. So it is a skill system in the game like I said. I just stab, it looked like I was stabbing myself through my hair. Let's go fight this guy still. Man, this raccoon is a beast. Look at him go. So let's attack him over here. Man, this raccoon keeps knocking me down. The combat system is actually a bit familiar if you've played Mega Ten from Area Games, though I think this game is quite a bit older than Mega Ten. But I say it's familiar because the combat actually requires a lot of skill. I mean, when you when you click enemies to auto combat, it just does the most basic attacks. But you want to time your attacks and your skills to sort of interrupt their attacks, and depending on how you do combat, it actually matters a lot. But right now, I don't think I have any skills anyway, so we're just killing some raccoons with our swords. So I gained zero experience for killing the weak mob, but I am gaining combat mastery. So even though there is no set class in the game, you have a lot of skills. But you know what, this arrow really wants me to go down this way, so you know what, let's listen. Instead of killing these guys. So this way to town. So let's go down over here. There are roosters there as well. And we have another intro movie. I mean, this shows you right away that's the production value in Mabinogi. I mean, especially for an older game, I feel like this just adds a lot of depth to the game and a lot of reason to play the game if you've never played it before. But click escape over here as well. Click OK over there as well. The game has a pretty nice soundtrack as well, which you might want to download if, <coughs> if you're into game music. But let's click over here. This is center of Ch Tir Chonil, blah, blah, blah. So we're going to talk to this guy over here, Duncan. Now, it's nighttime too and it's raining. The game has its own weather system as well. So an elderly man observes the world around him with an air of calm confidence. So again, guys, the dialogue is actually something. So click continue as well. Though, when you get started with the game, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of this dialogue going on before we can even do anything. But we can, you know, click continue, continue, continue. Continue. The game's age system is actually really important as well. As you, if you start, you know, you, st you can start off really young, but then your stats are a bit weaker. And you age as you play the game, actually. I'm not sure exactly how the age, how, how many days are a year, but you age, uh, I think it's one year every week. I'm not sure exactly what day of the week, but every year, every week you age one year in the game. And as you age, you do gain some stats, but this thing, after you reach a certain age, you stop gaining AP points, which are used to advance your skills in the game. So you gain skills by using them, but then you can advance into the next level by using your AP points. You gain AP points as you level, but after a certain age, you stop gaining AP points, or you gain much less. So eventually you have to rebirth yourself to a lower to a lower age. And I'll explain that again after we're done talking to you. You know what? You talk way too much. End conversation for now. But again, this is something you want to pay attention to. If you just ignore all this stuff, you won't know where you're going and you'll, I, you know, you'll get lost pretty fast in the game. Can we still skip this yet? End conversation. So you can actually receive your lost items by talking to him too. When you die in the game, you do drop some items, but you don't drop items that other players can pick up. You can recover them back in town. So and, and that chat menu over there. So we got our quest tab down over here and our skill tab. So this we can finally start doing our own thing for now. The game, uh, like I said, originally released in Korea in 2004, making the game quite old. But the game released in 2008 in North America, and people do play the game. There are four servers. It's not nearly as popular as I would say Maple Story because that game is enormously popular. But we can see other players in town over there. And the animations are a bit different too. I mean, they look a bit jagged, but a lot of it is hand drawn, which is kind of cool. Which there's, there's somebody over here playing music over here. You can see them over there. They're playing music. 
And it's pretty cool because the music in the game, you can actually you can actually uh, write your own music in the game. So if you walk around town sometimes, you can find familiar tunes like the Legend of Zelda you know, soundtrack playing because people are actually playing it on their musical instruments. And they'll actually be gaining music skill for doing so, which is actually really cool too. It just kind of shows you how open-ended the game is. So we're going to take this... Oh, I can't pick that up yet. It's a random item on the floor. But for now, I want to go outside town and kill a few roosters because that's, that's what I want to do. Though I should be completing this quest over here, but you know what? I think I already completed that, so ba bam, level two already. So these these birds just flew by me and dumped, dumped something on top of me, which is kind of weird. But let's go kill this rooster over here. Again, combat wise, the game's combat does take more skill than a lot of other games, and I don't think I can kill this rooster right now. So we're gonna go outside town and kill some brown foxes. Nope, he's already dead. Somebody's already killing all the brown foxes. But the game's skills are broken down to life, combat, magic, and alchemy. And I don't have to access too many skills right now, but the game has a lot more skills than what we're seeing right now. I can't kill any of these right now. It's a giant over here just punching these bad boys. So let's go kill this young brown fox over there. These guys I don't think should aggro me. There are monsters in the game that do aggro you. I mean the game has dungeons as well and a lot of other instance areas too. But these guys die really fast, so we're gonna attack this guy too. So I'm getting combat skill as well by fighting these guys. So the game doesn't use a traditional you know, skill point system. You just use skills and you gain experience in the skills you use. Much like Mega Ten does the same thing. There's a lot of magic skills as well, which I don't have any, I don't have access to right now. Alchemy skills, as well as life skills. Now life skills in the game are, a lot of games actually call them life skills now. Life skills are simply uh, crafting skills, resource ga gathering skills. The game actually has a lot of these too. You have like blacksmithy and all sorts of stuff. There's like five, six, seven plus life skills in the game. So you can find brown foxes, blah, blah, blah. Another player over here too. And this is kind of cool to always see newer players in the beginner areas too, because that's always good. It's a sign of life for the game too. So even for an older game, it's still popular and people do play it. And the way, and about the game's rebirth system. Once you reach you know, level 25 plus, you gain AP points much slower. And you, you basically want to rebirth when you reach level 25-ish. But a lot of players wait till they're level 40 to 60 to rebirth because when you... Because as you know, because as a new, as a level 1 character, when you rebirth, you go back to level 1. But you maintain all your skills. And skills are the most important aspect of the game. Levels are just a means to get skills. So you want to keep your, um, you do keep your AP points. But people wait till level 50 to 60 because every time you rebirth, when you start back at, you know, the lower age and lower level, it's a bit hard to kill monsters right away. So players do wait later on to do it. Before, you used to have to pay for rebirthing in the game, where you would have to actually buy an item in the cash shop. Nowadays, you can do it for free, starting at level 20. So that's actually much better. So there's still a lot of things in Mabnogi which are which are very anti-free-to-play, as I would say. It's a free-to-play game, but there's a lot of little things that cost money, which I think is a big deal. I think in order to create a guild in the game, you do need to spend money. I mean, not that many games do that. I think Mabnogi is the only game that charges for that. And before, if I remember correctly, you have to actually pay for each rebirth, making the game somewhat expensive. But nowadays they got rid of that, which is nice. These guys look awesome in that armor. Look how cool they look over there. And if you've played um, Vindictus, the game is actually called Mabinogi Heroes in uh, in South Korea. I'm not sure why they renamed the game to Vindictus over here. But again, I'm not sure what Mabinogi Heroes has to do with uh, Vindictus has to do with Mabinogi either. They're completely different games. They may be set in the same universe. I'm not 100% sure. But let's keep on moving over here. And what's my quest? Let's go find out. I have a bunch of quests over here too. Let's go rescue resident. And it tells you what these are as well. 300 experience for doing it. This guy's really punching all the foxes in town. What an a-hole, right? He's just knocking them down. Poor creatures, right? <laughs> the sky's clearing up. Now the rain is going away and we got some clearer skies. And the surrounding mana is starting to fight fade away. So the game has its own weather system as well. But you know what? I'm going to follow this little arrow for now. The little purple arrow tells me where to go. So I'm going to listen. So I actually do need to go all the way up over here. So I think you can actually just click on the radar over here and it takes you wherever you need to, which is actually really nice. So here's the game's world map as well. It's quite large. Going from point A to point B will take quite a while. Now I've actually done a lot. I've said a lot of stuff to gush for the game, saying it's you know, a nice game and all, but it's a game I feel won't won't appeal to a lot of people because of its lower end graphics. But the game is still around. I mean, it's not as popular as Maple Story or some of the other fancy MMORPGs, but it's a neat little game that I think is worth checking out if you've never played it before. So let's go talk to this guy, which is for our quest. Specimen with a nice looking armor contours his body in a sort of average length. Only average length? My sword is huge, you guys. Come on. <laughs> continue. I'm only referring to my sword in game, of course. So welcome, I am Trevor the Guard. And let's go continue over here, too. Now, one of the game's strongest assets, I do have to mention this, guys, is the game's content updates. Like Maple Story, Nexon does an awesome job keeping this game up to date. It's gone through, like, countless, countless, count, uh, countless, countless content updates now. There's so much new dungeons to the game, so many new aspects of the game that, that, that gets introduced with these content updates. I think they're called Generations or Seasons in the game, and they're up to, like, 12 plus of these. There's a lot of lot of stuff being added to the game regularly. 
So again, showing you the game skill system, you want to use your combat skills in battle. So again, you want to use your skills at certain times to interrupt enemies' attacks. So that takes skill too. But guys, I am running out of time. There's a lot more I wish I could talk about. But if you guys do want to play Mabinogi or just learn more about it, do check out the full review on MMOHunt.com. Later, guys.